What if the moon fell into a black hole? Well, things wouldn't be great for the moon, that's for sure. And subsequently, things probably wouldn't be too great for us here on Earth either. Black holes are one of the most terrifying and mysterious parts of space, and almost every single galaxy has one in the center of it. To understand what would happen if the moon fell into a black hole, we gotta know some more stuff about black holes first. So let's take a second to talk about those things. Black holes are a region of space time that has gravity so strong that nothing, no particles, no electromagnetic radiation like light, literally nothing can can escape from it. The reason the gravity in a black hole is so strong is because a lot of matter is squeezed into a tiny space. Sometimes a black hole can be formed when a star is dying. Because of the fact that there's no light escaping from a black hole, they're invisible to us. There are special tools that can be used to help find black holes, however, because these tools can see how the stars close to a black hole act differently than the other millions of stars in the universe. Black holes can be really small, like only one atom, or they can be alarmingly large. The crazy thing though is that even a small black hole has the mass of a large mountain. There are other kinds of black holes which are called stellar mass black holes and their mass can be up to 20 times more than that of the sun. There are thought to be many, many stellar mass black holes in our Milky Way galaxy. The next kind of black hole is called a supermassive black hole and these are the largest kinds. A supermassive black hole has the mass of more than 1 million suns, and scientists have discovered that every large galaxy contains one of these terrifying things at the center of it. Yep, that means we have our very own supermassive black hole in our galaxy, which is called Sagittarius A. Sagittarius A has a mass of about 4 million suns, and it would fit inside of a large ball that could hold a few million Earths. Remember how I said black holes could be alarmingly large? I think Sagittarius A just made the cut. So how does a black hole become a black hole? Well, scientists think that the smallest black holes were formed when the universe began. Supermassive black holes are thought to have developed at the same time as the galaxy they reside in. Stellar black holes are a little different because they are made when the center of a very large star falls into itself or collapses. This event, which is called the supernova, causes the star to explode and send little bits of star shooting out around it. So now that we know all about black holes, let's start getting back to our main question. What if the moon fell into a black hole? The good news about this is that it is highly, highly unlikely to happen for a few reasons. Firstly, black holes don't go around in space trying to consume everything in their path. There is just simply no black hole that is close enough to Earth for either the planet or the moon to end up falling into it. Because of what we just talked about with stellar mass black holes, you might be sitting there thinking, well what if the sun turns into a black hole? More good news, the sun isn't large enough for its supernova event to turn it into a black hole. And even if it was was, and it did, a black hole with the mass of the sun would have the same gravitational pull as the sun did. Earth and the other planets in our solar system would all continue orbiting around our new black hole sun like nothing had ever changed. I mean, we'd be facing a ton of other problems that come with no sun, but at least we wouldn't be getting spaghettified inside of a black hole, I guess? If the moon fell into a black hole, the bad news is that we probably also would. The moon isn't that far away from us in terms of the universe, so if the moon was in a position where it was so precisely aimed at a black hole that it was going to fall in, the earth would most likely be right there with it too. For something to escape from a black hole, it has to be traveling faster than the speed of light in order to escape the gravitational pull. Nothing in the universe travels faster than the speed of light. I mean, at least nothing we know of. Which means that there's absolutely no way, once we're in the thick of a black hole, that we're getting out. The border where the gravity of the black hole becomes too much to escape is called the event horizon, and this marks the outer boundary of the black hole. The closer to the center of the black hole you are, the stronger the gravitational pull. So once caught in the pull of a black hole, us and the moon would be heading towards the center of it. So here's the thing, once in the black hole, us, the Earth, and the Moon, of course, would be experiencing what is called tidal force. So say you, as a human, went headfirst into a black hole. Your head would be accelerating faster than your toes would be because the gravity in the center is the strongest, so your head would be experiencing more gravitational pull than your toes. The difference in pull would essentially stretch your body until it snapped at the weakest point. From here, this process basically repeats with all the little bits until the 
tidal force becomes stronger than the chemical bonds that hold you together. So this is exactly what would be happening to all of us, and the Earth, and the Moon. Here's the eerie thing. From here, we have no idea what happens inside of a black hole. I mean, at that point it doesn't really matter to us because we wouldn't be around anymore, but while we aren't dealing with that issue, it would be super cool to be able to figure out what exactly happens in there. For a second, we can think about what if the moon happened to fall into a black hole, but it was so teeny tiny that Earth didn't end up falling in as well, so we're fine but now we have no moon. Things would definitely be thrown off a bit without our lovely moon. It is Earth's little sidekick that really helps us out with our lives here on Earth. If the moon fell into a black hole leaving us here to fend for ourselves, the nights would be considerably darker. Even in places where there is no light pollution from us humans here on Earth, the moon helps us light the night just a touch. Nocturnal animals would have their entire life cycles thrown off balance, but this is probably the least of our worries. The moon is an object with mass, and it has a gravitational pull that affects Earth. I mean, the gravitational pull of the moon is what is causing the tides of our ocean, which is just insane to think about. So at this point, we'd have no tides, or they'd at least be very, very different. This would have an incredible effect on marine life and ecosystems, which would thus change the ecosystems here on Earth. Another super big change that we would see without the moon is in relation to the axial tilt of the Earth. By now, now we all know that as Earth orbits, its axis is tilted. This is the reason we have the changing of the seasons. Here's the thing, the moon and its gravity is what is keeping us at relatively the same tilt. Without the moon, our tilt goes absolutely haywire. There's a strong chance that without the moon, the Earth would either have no tilt, or it would be completely tilted too far. This would cause there to either be no seasons, or some of the most extreme seasons we've ever seen and absolutely no in between. If the moon fell into a black hole and the earth didn't, this would mean that the black hole is still somewhere around us. If the black hole that the moon fell into is a similar mass to the moon, this black hole could potentially be a replacement for the gravitational pull of the moon in order to keep us on our tilt, but we'd still be dealing with the whole no moonlight thing. If a black hole was that close to us, it would be really hard for space missions to be sent out because of the pull, and a lot of our satellites would probably be thrown off orbit too. This is all just a long way of saying that if the moon were to get pulled into a black hole, it is very, very likely that our existence would be threatened, if not just totally obliterated in a matter of minutes. Black holes are not something that we ever want to see even close to our Earth or our moon. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please hit that little thumbs up button if you enjoyed it today, and don't forget to subscribe to see more. Stay curious, LBQ fam, and stay the heck away from black holes. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.